And I cannot first bring to the uh, First Nations of this land, Tihi, Te Rua, Kina, Tangata, Tenu, Kato, Kato, the First Nations. Kina, Kato. We find ma to the mothers, we do a kind of ma to the brothers. Kina, Pepe, Hoki, to the baby, there's the future. Yeah. I'm 44 tomorrow, so I'm on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> I know I look a lot younger, it's a stress free life. Um, thank you, Sybil, and thank you, Shasta, for finding me some caffeine this morning. Uh, I didn't drink caffeine, uh, caffeine until I had children, uh, and I'll show you the kids in a uh, The title, I'll explain it first. Iro is wonderment. I don't know if it's the same in Hawaiian language. The Polynesian languages, uh, there's a, a great similarity across the whole ocean. And fucker is a causative prefix, so to cause wonderment, and that's the word we use for carving. And that was our main article in the news. Uh, carve the land, carve the people. That's the word that one with the land. Mm -hmm. Change the people, change the land, and vice versa. You know, you're all fellow travellers, I don't have to say any more. And I'm currently in the Agribusiness and Economic Research Unit at, uh, at Lincoln University. Full time research, don't lecture anymore. I kind of miss it. Keeps you on your toes. Uh, when we, we, what we've just done, like a Mickey me, a greeting, we were going to these geographical indicators. I'm a geographer, love geography, and we have these locators in our culture. Panikiri te Mauna, Waikiri Mauna, Te Roto. Panikiri is the mountain, Waikiri Mauna is the lake. He's up in the Uruwera National Park in the North Island. Uh, that's my first form son, Fitiawa. I do not know where he gets the attitude from. <laughs> Waikere Tarahike is the river, and we have a number of small hydraulic schemes on our river. Ngāti Rūpani and Tūhui are the iwi, are the tribes. And Te Kuha and Waimako are some more men, some more tuakana. <laughs> education, tertiary education back home is dominated by women. About two thirds are, are women. One theory of meaning, there's some issues around that as well, it's interesting stuff. The Kuha and Waimako are the Marae. So, your, your tribal space, you'll have a Whare Nui or a Whare Kairu, carved house, and that's where we meet, that's where we have our hui, our meetings, and that's uh, the name of that Whare Nui is Poho or Hinikura. Hinikura is the ancestor, named after a woman, and Poho is the breast. So, we go and we stay there in the breast of our ancestor. And there's my immediate family. My mum is Pākehā, uh, descendant from Europeans, my father, my wife's Pākehā, uh, and so we're all mixed up now. We're, you know, we're all a mongrel race, and that's actually a strength. I think that's a strength. Never trust a purebred, you know, like dogs. Never trust a purebred dog. Uh, just a brief, uh, a brief uh, outline. I'm going to uh, give some geohistory background to Aotearoa, New Zealand, some Māori environmental concepts, and then talk about some of the research that's been going on uh, up around Waikere Moana and that Lincoln, researchers at Lincoln have been involved in. And then let's just have some sort of musing on Māori cultural political economy, because I think that's what I'm ending up doing. I'm not 100% sure. It changes all the time. And then it'll be the finish. I've got too many slides and not enough time. But Here's probably the only map I'll show. Uh, these are some of the old names from Aotearoa. Māori Tiki Tiki Atāranga was the ancestor who discovered the land. The Ika of Māori, the fish of Māori, uh, the waka of Māori, the canoe of Māori. The white pond name is another name we give to the South Island. The Pākehā name is North Island, South Island. It's not especially in there. Uh, and Kaunamu is the stone. And uh, I've got some in my pocket. I'm going to leave it here. Uh, and that comes from that coast there. Uh, the Pongo of the waka. The anchor stone of the waka, the canoe. Chatham Islands, you know the work by Jared Diamond, comes mm -hmm. Jews and Steel. There's a, a little bit of me of Moriori who were, they got the sharp end of the stick. Uh, <coughs> Ngati Yutunga and Tiafiawa migrating around here, hopped on a sailing ship on Pākehā, got there over there and just dealt with poor Moriori. So there's some really interesting politics going on there. Because they didn't kill them all. When you hear someone say that the Moriori have been eradicated, Tasmanian Aborigines have been eradicated. You'd never kill everybody. You know? There's always a little bit of blood somewhere around there. It's just uh, not in a pure form anymore. It's no bad thing. Uh, when we talk of Ika Māori, we have this sort of, I think it's a joke, 
And we say, look, we knew, you know, we knew what the, the island would look like a fish. It's the head, the tail, it's the fins, the heart, it's the hook, the jawbone. And the walking on it now, and the ancestor Maui, he knew that it was shaped like a well, it's a metaphor because when you're an ocean going people and you discover land, you're pulling it up out of the water. It's always going to be a fish. It could have been square, it would have been the Ika Maori. Yeah. But we sort of play, you know, GIS, yes, we were there, you know, a thousand years.